In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find products to sell on Amazon in 2021 and 2022, since we only have a few months left in 2021. Now, no one is teaching this method right now, so this strategy is probably gonna be new to you because everyone is still teaching outdated methods on Amazon product selection, which is usually uh, targeting high volume, high profit potential products, but that method doesn't work anymore because there's just too much competition now on Amazon and you can lose a lot of money following most of those video trainings that uh, you're gonna find on YouTube. So my method that I've been working on and testing over the last two years is definitely what I recommend you use because it requires a lot less money to get started. The products have very low competition and you don't have to order huge quantities of them like you do for those high volume ones. Uh, it's just a much safer way to sell on Amazon and you can still build a six figure business doing this. So here's how it works. What I'm doing is finding products that have very low competition so that they are easy to get ranked. They get sales going really quickly and most Amazon sellers don't want to mess with these products because they usually only make maybe a thousand dollars per month on average in net profits. And everyone's still trying to build a six figure business on Amazon with just one or two products because that's what everyone is still teaching. And most of them are failing and losing a lot of money and, and time really in the process. Now, the great thing about this strategy that is working phenomenally well for me is that you can build a diversified portfolio of uh, of products, which is much safer and just as profitable because instead of ordering 2000 units of a high volume product and basically going all in on it, which is super dangerous, you order 100 to 200 units of each of these low competition products. You just see how it goes on Amazon and if they sell well, you scale up from there. Now, let me show you how I'm finding them and how you can do this on your own. But before I do that, I wanna ask, please smash that like button below, subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out. And that's how I can keep putting out videos like this in the future, so I really appreciate it. I've been selling on Amazon since 2013. I do about $100,000 a month. I share my strategies here on this channel, as well as other ways to make money online because I don't have all of my eggs in Amazon's basket and I highly recommend that you do the same. Uh, now, I also have a free Amazon VIP coaching club you can join where I give out advanced strategies and tips that I don't always publish here on YouTube. And once a month, I reveal products just like the ones that I'm gonna show you today uh, to that special group. I'll leave the link in the description below and you can go sign up for free there if you want. Uh, so now, let me jump over to my screen and I'll show you how to do this. Okay guys, so in order to do this, you are going to need two free Chrome extensions. So you need to be using Chrome as your internet browser and you're going to go just go, go to google and type in uh, ds amazon quick view chrome extension and the first result will take you here to this page so you're just going to install that like i said it's completely free and then you're going to do the same thing once you've got that installed i'll show you why you need all of these in just a minute but you can do the same thing and look for helium 10 chrome extension you are going to need to uh, add that and uh, get that going so what I need you to do uh, next. There, now you have two options. I'm gonna be using a paid tool today and you don't have to use this. So let me let me show you the free way first and then um, we'll, you can basically use the uh, same tactics I'm gonna use here for free, just manually searching on Amazon. Uh, it's gonna take you a ton of time, but uh, you know, if you, don't want to spend the money then that's certainly an option you can just go to the amazon homepage here and then at the time i filmed this video it was here but sometimes they move these things around so uh if this is what you see then click on all and that's gonna show you the departments you can go here to shop by department and then you can just pick your department uh, whatever category you want to search in so if you wanted to search in toys and games you would just click here on toys kids and baby and then toys and games and then that would pull up the category and you can start uh, searching from there. But I will warn you, it takes an incredible amount of time. And, um, you know, if you, I, I recommend Helium 10 because it is only like $97 uh, a month at, for the plan that you're going to need, which I think is the platinum plan. Uh, and if you enter the code FLA for Fastlane Academy, when you sign up, you get half off, uh, which will get it to you for like 40 something dollars uh, for a full month. You'll also get access to this freedom ticket, which is a $997 Amazon FBA course. It'll teach you um, everything you need to know if you're new or even if you have been selling for a while, there's a lot of advanced stuff in here. Uh, and this will cut down on your time by like 3000%. Uh, 
uh, as you will see here today. So, you know what, it's up to you, but honestly, if you don't have 40, what, 45, $47 to invest in your business, then you, you might, uh, you know, excuse my <laughs> directness, but you might just want to find another business. This may not be the right one for you. So I highly recommend it. That's what I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be using here today. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, what you're going to do is once you have, uh, what, if you use Helium 10, uh, then what you're going to do is go here to tools and then you are going to go to under product research. You're going to click on black box. Okay. And that's going to take you to their product research tool. Um, and you'll see how this really, uh, cuts down on a lot of the work here. And what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to pick a category. So if you're searching manually in Amazon, you just go to that category page. Uh, I'm going to start with toys and games. And uh, so let's start there. Now, what I like to do for monthly revenue is I'm looking for a minimum of $5,000 a month. And the reason why I put that number in is because uh, generally, you know, every business is different. Uh, usually my margins run around 20% after all expenses. So I want to make at least a thousand dollars a month on any product I launch. I don't like to make less than that. Some of them do, but uh, some of them also make a lot more. So uh, I'm shooting for one thousand dollars a month, and what I like to do is get you know a, a nice portfolio of like twenty or thirty of these, and and you can do the math on that and uh, how well you can do, and you can just scale that to the moon. Really, um, you're only limited by your time and capital. So that's what I put. You can put whatever you want in there, but I'm going to put five thousand. Uh, price, uh, what I found through my experience is that generally anything under $10 is tough to make money on. Uh, so I usually put, and a lot of people like to price at $9.95. So I'm going to put $9.95 for the minimum price. I don't want anything any lower than that. Um, now, review count. Uh, this, you can leave totally blank if you want because uh, I can tell you from experience that honestly, reviews hardly ever seem to matter. Everyone makes a really big deal out of these, but I just launched a product where a brand new product with zero reviews and uh, I'm going up against uh, another product that has been around for uh, geez, almost two years. They have a couple of hundred reviews and I've already outranked them. I'm already beating them and I'm selling twice as many as they are with no reviews whatsoever. So it really doesn't seem to matter as long as you provide good value. Um, so anyway, just for um, example sake, um, if you want something that is super low competition, um, then I'm going to set this to 50 just to show you if we really narrow, this is really going to narrow things down, but, um, we'll still find products and the rest of this I'm going, I'm not going to, I don't really care about the rating and over here under shipping size tier, I want small standard size. That's the one thing I like because I can airship these to my home, uh, and, I don't have to worry about them going directly to FBA. I don't have to worry about paying a fortune in fees. So that's what I want is small standard size. Uh, you, once again, you don't have to check that if you're open to, you know, larger stuff that that'll open your doors a little bit more. Uh, but I like to, to set it at that. So that is really it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit search and let's go through kind of some of the things, um, that I'll give you, I'm just going to go over some basics uh, of what I look for. You may be completely different. There's some things that everyone should stay away from. Uh, there's some things that I stay away from. I'm super picky and I know there's thousands of products here I can launch. So I, it, it has to check off every single box for me and I'm lazy. It has to be easy, uh, and profitable. Uh, you may not have those restrictions, but, uh, anyway, let's run through a few. First, my first rule is if I don't really know what it is, um, I'm not really familiar with it. I don't really, I don't want to mess with it just because there's too many things out there that I do know. And I just don't want to get involved with something. I don't know what it is and I don't know what this is. Uh, so I'm going to move on. Uh, second, you should be aware of this. Everyone should know this, but obviously, you know, characters like Spider-Man and major brand names, those are all trademark. You can't do that. You cannot, it looks like this person did anyway, but they look like a Chinese seller that probably doesn't know any better or doesn't care. Uh, so they, uh, they probably won't be doing this for too much longer <laughs> until uh, Marvel takes them out for trademark or copyright infringement. So anyway, obviously stay away from stuff like that. Okay. Uh, now, same thing. I don't know what this is. Mahjong. Um, these little fidget toy spinner things. You know, that 
that was a fad for a while. I don't like getting involved with fads. Uh, now, here's something that really catches my eye right out of the gate. I like this. It's very generic, um, and it looks like it's really inexpensive to get started. So what they got here is they have mermaid bracelets, silicone mermaid bracelets. Um, they're like little mermaid party favors. Um, their monthly revenue, right around 5600 The monthly sales, um, Black Box estimates this based on their... Um, BSR, which we'll talk about that in just a moment, and they're selling 333 a month. So let's go over to Amazon now and let's look at okay, silicone, uh, or let's just do mermaid bracelets. Okay, and here you go. They're uh, the first thing that I always look at is I look at this top row. Because uh, what I'm looking for here is sponsored ads. What I really like to see is nobody running sponsored ads. That doesn't always. That's a, sometimes that can be really rare, uh, and I'm very surprised here that that this is the case. So this product already checks off my first two boxes, uh, and it looks like a phenomenal opportunity. Opportunity because nobody's running sponsored ads. Um, you'd be the only one. So that's what I like to see. What I don't like to see is all four slots taken up with the same product and a ton of competitors on the page. So already this is looking good. Uh, and I go down the list here. Here's one other person um, doing the same thing. Uh, so there's not really much competition here. Um, here's another one. And so I really like this opportunity. So the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, oh, and here's where that DS Quick View comes into play. What it does is it shows you the B the BSR, which is the bestseller ranking in Amazon, and just know the lower the better. Uh, anytime you get over like 50,000 uh, BSR, it's really not that profitable. So um, that's just a, a quick way. If uh, you don't have the plugin, you can't see that on this page. So um you know, that, that's why that is a very handy tool and it's free. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this listing and let's find out how much money we can make with it. So this is where the uh, Helium 10 tool uh, plugin comes in. So what we're going to do is click on that. Then we're going to go uh, right here to profitability calculator. Okay. And while we're going to leave that there for just a moment, uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Alibaba.com which if you're not familiar with, that's where you can source products to sell. I'm going to put in, uh, let's put in silicone. I'm just going to put in silicone bracelet because I can tell you from experience, Amazon, uh, I'm sorry, not Amazon. Alibaba's search engine is not that great. So sometimes you got to really dumb it down. So I'm going to put silicone bracelet because every, just about everything on Alibaba, Alibaba is customizable. So if I can just find someone that sells silicone bracelets, I can just you know, send them a copy, send them a picture of this and say, I want something similar and they'll create it for you. So let's, but, oh, nope, we don't want the keychain. I don't know how that came in. Oh, come on. Okay. Silicone bracelet. All right. So the other thing I'm looking for here on Alibaba is I want uh, the MOQ is the minimum order quantity. I don't want to see a huge number here. Um, now, in this case, we have to kind of use some perspective. Now, you know what? I'm sorry. Let me get rid of this for a minute. There are 30. Uh, this is a 30 pack. So what I'd want to do, what I always want to do right out of the gate is I want to top whoever the top person is. So I want to do a 40 pack because if I can do a 40 pack for the same price that they're uh, offering, then I'm obviously going to take a lot of their sales and we're going to do really well because who's not going to buy uh you know, similar product that has 10 more in it for the same price. So that's the number we're using. Uh, we need a 40 pack. So what, if I wanted to start with say a hundred of those, then, you know, I'm going to need what a hundred times 40 is I'm going to need 4,000 of these bracelets. Um, if I wanted to start with 50 of them just to do a small test order, then that's 2000. So, um, you know, that's, what's nice about these multi packs is, uh, yeah, you can meet minimum order quantities pretty easily. So uh, now let's go back. Um, you know, if it was just one single product and it wasn't a pack of stuff like this, which I'll show you in a minute, another example, then we'd want to look for that super low quantity. But I'm just trying to get an idea here what we're looking at. So um, it looks like uh, we're looking at about six cents a piece. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 
uh, that 40 pack that I want to sell and I'm going to multiply it times six cents each and what I get is two dollars and forty cent that's my cost to get to create a 20 pack of these I'm sorry a 40 pack of these bracelets so 240 and uh, I'm going to add this is gonna be really small um, I'd say on average you're probably looking at about maybe 50 cents in shipping to ship this to you I usually if it's something small like this it rarely goes over that um, air shipping rates right now are a little high and sometimes it jumps up as high as 75 cent maybe even a dollar but you know on average something like this should cost you around 50 cent so let's go back now to the uh, helium 10 extension profitability calculator okay and what we're going to do is we are going to put in um, our price and look at that um, how crazy is that uh, <laughs> helium 10 uh, usually uh, they just kind of throw this number in uh, what they think it costs to make this and that's the exact number that we just found out it is going to cost 240 now the freight from China they have this at 15 cent that's a little low we need to add a little bit more to that but they don't let you edit it so I'm going to add the difference so um, if I want my if I want to calculate a 50 cent uh, freight cost then I need to add 35 cents so I'm just going to add it here and we're just going to make this 275 okay and there we go we're done uh, here's your net profit, $3.80. So we can expect to make around $3.80. We might be able to get that to $4 if we can really get our shipping costs down. But we're going to go with $3.80 for right now. Okay. Now, if we go back to Black Box, we already know their monthly sales are projected at $333 per month. That's about what they're doing. Uh, so we could expect to do the same. So three hundred and thirty three sales per month times three dollars and eighty cent was our net profit that gives us a monthly net profit of one thousand two hundred and sixty five dollars so this is a perfect product um, to do you know, fits the fits the bill you're looking at almost thirteen dollar I'm sorry thirteen hundred dollars a month in net profits and like we said we already know that we're paying you know, right around maybe three dollars to land this thing here so to get you know to start out with a hundred of these you'd be looking at three hundred dollars total investment i mean that's just crazy um you know a lot of these high volume products take you know 10 grand to get started and so 300 bucks that's definitely something that i'm going to do you're definitely going to sell a few of them and if something went wrong and this product totally bombed or worst case you might be out you know 200 bucks so uh and odds are you're not because i know i i have about a 90 percent success rate using this method so um that's probably what you're looking at so that is a that is your first winner uh mermaid bracelets now let's keep going and i'm going to go a little bit faster this time uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump because i I uh, did some searching earlier and so I'm going to go ahead and jump to the next product to save time because this video is getting kind of long. So let me show you an example of what I don't like. Um, just so you know, right here, video game birthday supplies, right? Let me go to Amazon and put in video game party supplies. That's the word right here. Okay. Now, if you notice, look, there are four sponsored ads and they are almost all identical. So this is what I do not like to see right out of the gate. I'm ruling this out because there's a ton of competition running pay-per-click and there's a bunch of them here. So I don't like that whatsoever. So let me jump back and I'm just going to keep going that product that I have now ruled out. Okay, so now let's scroll down and keep looking here. And the next one that I found here is these happy 55th birthday so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Amazon and I'm going to put in happy 55th birthday. And uh, then I believe, is it that one? You know what? Let's just go. Let me do this. You can click here where you just go right to the product page on Amazon, which will speed things up a little bit. Okay, here we go. They are selling this for $11.99. So what we want to do is now I'm going to... Before I do that, let's jump. Let's go to the home page. Let's look in... Happy 55th birthday. Let's just put birthday. Um, well, they got decorations for men, women. I'm not sure which one that is. So let's see. Let's just put in happy 55th birthday decorations. Okay. 
Now, here's what I like here. Once again, there is only one sponsored ad, so there's nobody else. So the great thing is that shows already there's little competition and there's none of those party supplies here in the top. So there is not much competition whatsoever. Matter of fact, if you look at the, the products that are ranking for Happy 55th Birthday, um, you know, there's only four and then you start getting 18 and all these non-relevant products. So this would be really easy to get ranked for and we'll see what kind of money we're going to make with it now. That's what's most important, right? So let's go to that product page again. Okay. Then once again, we're going to go up here and we're going to run the profitability calculator. Okay. Now we got to go find our cost. So let's go back to Alibaba. Now, once again, I'm not going to put in happy 55th birthday because, um, that's probably not going to come up. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put in maybe happy birthday party supplies and just try to find something similar. Um, basically what they have here is just a banner and some streamers. That's really it. So, uh, let's jump real quick and see if we can find anything remotely close to that. Um, okay, so uh, let me do this. Let me pause this video and uh, find find it uh, so you don't have to sit here and scroll with me and then we will uh, pick up from there. Okay, took me about uh, maybe two minutes, scrolled through a couple of pages, finally found uh, found it had to do another search for happy birthday streamer but eventually we found it and uh here we go this is almost identical and actually it also has these little poof things whatever that is so the great thing about that is that uh goes right in line with the strategy i was telling you earlier about one-upping them so uh this is perfect so what we're going to do here once again they their minimum order quantity is only 50. and so the high end is 239 that's that's what you're going to pay when you go with the mop so 239 there we go that's our price and once again let's just add 50 cents landed here uh airship so that's gonna be about two let's just say 290 to round it off okay so 290 is our cost let's go back here to that product page there we go and let's put in our um two well we're not going to put in 290 because they've already got 12 cent factored in for freight so what we're going to do is take tw that 12 cent off the 290 because we added it was really 240 which is crazy because here they go again they estimated the cost at 240 and that's exactly what it is so um it's 12 cent for freight um so we wanted to factor in 50 so we need to add 38 so that puts us at 278 let's just round it off to 280 there we go uh, same price as them. That's going to give us a net profit of $4.56. So let's now jump up here and uh, see how many uh, we know. Four fifty-six. dollars All right. Now let's see how many they were selling. Uh, 437 right? So 437 units a month times $4.56. That gives us $1,993 a month. There you go. That's almost two grand a month just from this product. And there's almost no competition. So, uh, and the cool thing about this is you can also, you know, expand upon this in different, you know, if you want to do different birthday decorations, you can do, you know, 17, 18, you already got the supplier. It makes it very easy. You're just changing the number. So awesome product there. I probably shouldn't have revealed that. I should have kept that for myself. <laughs> so, oh, well, case are all. all right. Last one. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change this. Okay, let's just change the category. Maybe you don't want to do uh, toys and games. Let's do patio, lawn, and garden. Okay, we're going to do the same search. Okay, I'll put that in. Okay, and I'm going to go through here and there are some options. Obviously, you can't do Snoopy. That's trademarked. Um, there's a lot of different stuff here and I don't even know what these are. Um, I don't know where you even get seeds and I'm not familiar with that. Uh, so as I go through here, um, those are seasonal products. I don't want anything that's seasonal, like one or two months out of the year. So we're just going to keep looking for different things and until something catches my eye here, this catches my eye. Okay, here we go. Here is a, this looks very light, small and cheap. And they are doing some serious volume here. So what is this? This is a vinyl pool repair patch kit. 
All right, so let's take a look and see. I'm going to go to, I'm going to go back to Alibaba. Let's look for final pool uh, repair kit. There you go. I'll if you get an auto suggest. That's a good sign. Okay. And okay, let's kind of look for something similar. Oh, let's get out of the birthdays. Let's go to that product page. Okay. And here we go. Um, looks like it just comes with some self adhesive pool liners, um, like stick ons. Okay. All right. So that's going to work for more than just that. So, um, you know, this looks like something similar here. Um, this kit, uh, that is very cheap, 10 cent. Let's see how many they have in here. Uh, 30 pieces. Okay. So 30 pieces. Uh, let's just say once again, we want to one up them and go to 40. Then we know that's going to cost us at, uh, 10 cents going to cost us, um, what? $4, right? So let's now go back and let's see how much we're going to make. Okay. Um, so when you go back to our helium 10, let's go to profitability. Okay. And we're going to put in $4 and we're going to add some for freight. They didn't hardly put anything in here for freight. So let's put 450 in for freight. Okay. And there we go. Net profit $5 and 51 cents per unit. Okay. Now, how many were they selling per month? Uh, they are selling 1,169. So 1,169 units a month times our net profit, which uh, I believe was 550, but I've already forgot. Um, yeah, 551. Okay. And wow. I uh, definitely should have kept this one for myself. Uh, 6400 and $41 per month in net profits. So there you go. That's uh, now one last thing I do want to check is let's just see what the competition looks like for that. Let's put in vinyl pool repair kit and see what comes up. Okay. We do have two sponsored results, but that's it. Only two. Uh, so, and going down the line, here's, this is for pool liners and this is a little bit different kit. And it's a lot more expensive so this is looking really good um, there's really not a whole lot of competition for that same product so uh, there you go guys um, that's really it uh, for product selection like I said if you want to use uh, helium 10 uh, I think you can now see why it is definitely worth you know 40 something dollars and uh, because of what we found here today and honestly I you know this took me less than what 20 minutes to find these 20 30 minutes and uh, we've got three really phenomenal products that you could get started with for just a few hundred bucks and you have the potential to make anywhere from twelve hundred to sixty four hundred dollars a month so that's it that's my strategy that's what i recommend going forward so once again if you got value from this video please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll put the link in the description below if you want to join my vip club it's free and uh, i do products like this every month that i don't do on youtube all the time so uh, that's it. Go out there, uh, start looking, and build your six-figure Amazon business.